Hello everybody, Bart here with Volaire Sim. Today a video about using an iPad with our Volaire Sim avionics panel. That's right, how to use an iPad with our new avionics panel. Let me explain. As you know, the premise for development of the avionics panel was to help you tie out mounting of all of the SciTech based switches flight instrument panels, radios, etc. We wanted to have you round out the cockpit so you can have a padded glare shield, something that mounts directly to the avionics table for the Volaire Sim chassis and something that makes you feel like you're really sitting in an airplane with a glare shield like in a real aircraft. So we've designed a panel to have a pre-made and pre-cut openings for all of the Cytec based instrumentation. However, as you know, some of those instruments, most notably the flight instrument panels, are not exactly inexpensive. One of those gauges costs about $150. Multiply that by six for just the six primary instruments and you're looking at $900. Not exactly inexpensive, not exactly something that what we would think when we think in Volaire Sim about affordable solutions for you, the flight sim and pilot enthusiasts. So, today let me show you an alternative solution. Just so happens that this space occupying by the six primary instrument panels is ex almost exactly the same size that will fit an iPad. Let me show you by overlaying the iPad on top of the SciTech flight instrument panels. As you can see, the iPad fits almost exactly in the space provided. It will clear the yoke, it will clear the SciTech yoke and it will fit in that space. And you can easily imagine mounting it by just putting some double-sided 3M tape or two strips of Velcro, maybe taking one of the blanking plates so you can run the power cable and you have an iPad mounted in there uh, in place of the six gauges. All right, well, that's fine, but then what am I gonna run on the iPad? Well, there is an application uh, called the Air Manager and the company that makes it is called Sim Innovations. You can download the Air Manager from the Apple Store and voila! You are able to set up any kind of gauges um, on the iPad. It's almost like sliding and dropping tiles onto the iPad surface, if you, if you will. Not only that, but this application, this Air Manager, has multiple gauges to choose from. Not only the primary instruments, but you have things like engine instrumentation, or glass cockpit displays, or Aspen, or um, airplane specific gauges. Uh, for instance, you know, the 172 gauges look slightly different than an A36 Bonanza, which, which is what we have here. So to sum up, you can uh, basically configure this as if you were configuring a virtual desktop and then you have this as a pretty affordable way to display the instrumentation. You can even have things that are not typically gauges, like a switch panel for 172. So perhaps maybe you can even put two iPads, one here and one to the left. And the nice thing about it, and I can tell you this confidently because I've experimented with it, is you don't necessarily have to have the fastest and latest iPad to run this. This is an iPad 2 that I bought for about $130 and it runs this particular um, six pack fine. I mean, you can imagine there's just not a lot of computing power to be able to display this. It's, n it's not like a fast moving game that's, on, that's displayed on a screen. So you can imagine an older iPad will, will run this thing just fine. So $130 versus $900, you can see um, why this would be a more affordable of a solution. The only problem, obviously, is that you do not have the knobs. And myself, being a real-world pilot, I love to have the knobs because you know I can I can change the heading, course, altimeter setting just like you would do with knobs in a real airplane. But for some of you, it may not be it might not be something that is a deal breaker, and or you might display the gauges that don't have the knobs. You know, the for instance, the attitude that Bendix attitude indicator here doesn't have any knobs in a real airplane. 
engine instrumentation also. If you were to have an iPad over here with engine instrumentation, it doesn't have any knobs. So it, it, you know, the knobs that SciTech provides are not even used for anything. Anyway, I hope I gave you something to think about and gave you an alternative idea of using our avionics panel in conjunction with something ju than just SciTech instrumentations. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please send us your comments. Thank you for watching.